Hey guys, Gecko here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm recording some Wolfenstein The New Order, which is uh, a game that I like to play pretty often, just FYI for any of you guys who are kind of sensitive to this stuff. This is kind of like a violent bloody game, so um, if you aren't into that kind of thing or you're just kind of sensitive to it, then uh, you might want to turn it off, as you guys can probably see by this point. Um, anyways, this footage is going to be edited, so I'm not going to be able to see what you guys are seeing all the time. So, yeah, pretty much, um, if you guys can, uh, whatever you guys are watching is not the same thing I'm watching. I kind of watch it at a different point, so I'm not going to talk about what's going on in the gameplay very much, but I thought you guys should know a little bit about the game. Um, and the reason that I'm not doing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for this is just that I thought I, I'd switch it up a little bit. Like, I don't want to always do Call of Duty for it. I like a lot of games, and, um, this is a really, really fun guy game, uh, excuse me. This is a really fun game that I've been playing a lot of recently, and I thought you guys might find it a little bit interesting. Um, it's a really fun game, and it's just kind of a classic shooter as well. The, the style isn't really different than any other kind of game, but... It's just really fun. Like, on this level, I'm on the moon, and you you might see... No, no, you won't see that in this gameplay. But I'm... Later on, I know he goes out into space and stuff, and it it's really cool. It's just a lot of fun, and it kind of shows that everybody's trying to be innovative lately. Um, but this game didn't really do that at all. I mean, it, it just kind of took classic shooter, and um, it built upon it. It made it really, really fun. And that made a great game, and I, I've enjoyed this a lot more than I have a lot of games. Like, a lot of games. Um, and, I mean, there are quite a few games that I don't like, um, but this was definitely one of them. I really like The Last of Us and Infamous and uh, Uncharted, stuff like that. But um, this, this was a really, really, really fun game. And a lot of games I also enjoy for their storyline a lot. Um, and uh, the gameplay is, is, is pretty fun as well, but some of it can be frustrating and challenging. This, I pretty much enjoyed every moment of the gameplay. Sometimes it could be a little frustrating, but it was never because of the gameplay components being messed up or anything. Like some games are just being just frustratingly made. It's just that I'm playing on a certain difficulty and I could always turn it down if I needed to, but I want to take the challenge, you know? Um, so yeah, also, there's, you probably noticed this by now, but, so I don't really need to cover it, but I'm going to anyway. Um, there isn't any sound on this, I'm sorry, I forgot to unplug my headset from my PS4 controller. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna hear any sound from the game, and that's not because anything is broken or anything, don't worry about that. Um, but, I will have some, uh, I will have some music playing on the background, which you already know anyway, so I don't know why I'm talking about that, but I thought... I'll just cover that anyways. I don't know why. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, probably about time to get into what I was actually going to talk about with this video. Um, what I was going to talk about with this video was basically what everyone does on their channel. Pretty much personalization of channels and different videos that people post. And what, they, uh, what has been going on with YouTube lately. And just my opinions on all of it. So, yeah. I think the first thing that I would like to cover, and I've talked a little bit a lot about this before. Um... I'd really like to talk about how people have been disabling comments. Now, this is definitely not everyone. A lot of people have comments turned on, and it's most people who have comments turned on. But there are people, especially like PewDiePie, who happens to be the biggest YouTuber on planet Earth, um, and probably planet anywhere, considering YouTube probably only exists on Earth, unless there's an alternate universe where YouTube exists, and or there's just another universe where they happen to come up with the same name for the exact same thing in their own language, and even though it would probably be a completely foreign language, they actually said it in the same thing. I don't... <laughs> they actually ended up saying the same two syllables. But, uh, yeah, that's completely unrealistic. Anyways, with that sidetrack out of the way, yeah, so people getting rid of their, um, their comments kind of I don't know, I, I'd like to talk about it. It's kind of interesting to me that people would do that. I mean, I understand definitely why they do it, um, but personally for me, I wouldn't really ever turn off the comments just because YouTube in general, it's kind of, I don't know, it's pretty open and I feel like if you get on, go on YouTube, especially, let's talk about hate. Um, on YouTube, when you get hate, you should probably be pretty prepared you know, to take that, I mean, that's kind of one of the things you have to, 
you know, risk yourself dealing with when you join YouTube. I mean, you know, everyone who joins YouTube should probably expect to get hate comments. And um, it's just about how you respond to them. Personally, myself, sometimes I end up responding to them in ways that I don't want to. And uh, it's not really usually that I, I just say something really mean that I regret. No, it's more like I say something like mean or like, I don't know, just just like I'm threatened and kind of mad at them. And then it gets their attention and then they want to give me dislikes and stuff. And, you know, you, you have to keep yourself from doing that on YouTube. Um, so, so I can see why people disable comments in that way, um, and I can also see why people who have overprotective parents or something like that would do it as well, um, but, I mean, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's not really personally out of my own opinion, I wouldn't do it myself, although I know some other people would. It, it's I, I just feel like you should be able to take the hate and honestly normally it's not very bad if it got super out of hand Then you could do it, but honestly, I, I don't find it that bad normally on YouTube There's also um, you know trolling and stuff which is pretty much you know people always argue over consoles, but When people argue on trolling they don't just like make a solid argument and try and like tell people but they just go like Xbox One is better than PS4 forever. <laughs> you know, it's just really annoying and like, no, no. And other people have different opinions and, you know, that would be me. I'm not really an Xbox person. And that's not necessarily because I wouldn't have an Xbox if I could get one, but I personally just don't want to spend the money on it. You know, if, if I had spare money lying around, of course, yes, I would. Just so I could play some matches on, you know, some other people's... Uh, with some other people on like, you know, a console Or I could uh, just play other games like Halo, but Halo doesn't really excite me that much to be honest I've played some of it on the previous gen consoles, and it's just not really my thing that much But I mean hey anybody can have with what uh, Anybody can have an opinion that they want and I, I just kind of sometimes I enjoy debating it You know and people People will flip out about that, and I feel like that's another form of trolling, but not necessarily. And then there's just people who are super oversensitive and can't take an argument and deal with it, which is really annoying too. Like if somebody like if somebody's talking about your console and says, "I really don't like that," and um, and um, you're like, "Well, I really like it," and they're like, "Okay, well, I mean, I really like it because this." And you, you don't be like, like, shut up, you know, and <laughs> like, don't tell them to shut up because it's. That's dumb. Just, just like, have a friendly argument with them every once in a while. People are too sensitive nowadays. I mean, people care more about each other's feelings than their lives sometimes. It's dumb. You know, everybody trying not to offend everybody. That's just pretty much what goes on nowadays. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Um, so, pretty much also, um, I don't know why I keep saying pretty much. It's one of my transition words like, um, or, uh, or... I just say it when I'm trying to, to think, uh, because I can't really think that much and talk at the same time. Normally my, my thoughts come out like like a millisecond later after after they, you know, pop up in my head. So I'm trying not to say um and stuff. I said it a lot in a previous recording of this, so I restarted it because I had gotten into the flow of things like I am right now. I feel like, uh, yeah, I almost said dang soldier turned around because I was, um, I'm watching gameplay different than you guys. I almost said that because I'm used to saying that when I play COD because normally I have it loaded up in Sony Vegas and I know exactly what you guys are going to be watching exactly when it happens so I say it when it happens but um can't say this that for this but there was a soldier and he was like turned around and the second I walk up to him with a knife to, to take him out he just turns around oh thanks bro you know like gosh how would you do that just annoying don't be annoying <laughs> um yeah so I understand why people uh, turn off their comments getting back on track but honestly for me I feel like YouTube should just come with like on, on the top of the comment section you know it should say prepare to get your feelings hurt you know or like something of that matter or warning pr prepare to deal with other people's opinions or something like that or or even trolling and stuff you know it, it's just like normal social media I mean people think it's different but it's it's not really some people have this this weird mindset that if you're on YouTube 
then somehow it's like weird and like everybody on there is just gonna be like awful and i feel like that only turns into having that just because people do it themselves like people give too much attention to trolls and to people that they don't like it, like if you don't like something stop hating on it just scroll past honestly it, just, just deal with it and that, that's what i'm talking about sometimes i have that problem as well but it, it makes things that you don't like very much more popular on youtube because they have more responses and then they pop up more and it just turns into a chain of like no <laughs> so another thing also getting into a whole nother topic here and this is videos being a little bit longer than I thought it would be, but that is absolutely okay. Um, one of the things I'm also going to talk about is that PewDiePie and um, other YouTubers, how, well, that's not a proper sentence, hold on. Basically, another thing I wanted to talk about is how PewDiePie and other YouTubers, how they have their own kind of format to YouTube that, that they switch up. Um, part of the reason that I'm not just a Minecraft channel, one, is because I enjoy other games, and it, again, if you're on YouTube and you're not doing what you enjoy, then you're doing YouTube wrong. And two, Minecraft, no matter how much people want to deny it, at some point, it will die. <laughs> whether you want to admit that or not, whether you want to face that, it's going to have to die. It may not be now, it may be soon, and it may be very far away. Now, people tend to really like Minecraft, so I think it's going to stay around for a long time, but who knows? It, it, it could even last just just an ultra-long time, but I know at some point Minecraft will not be around anymore. And if, you know, I, I'm hoping this will be the case, but if my channel is still around at that point, I want to be able to do something else. But, y you know, I also enjoy playing other games, as I said before, and... So, yeah, but... PewDiePie and his channel getting back on track again. I always sidetrack whenever I'm doing this. I should just do a rambling video where I just start off on a subject and don't even try to get back to it. That would be great. But PewDiePie makes, um, he makes videos a lot now on just random games that he finds on the internet, like little free games or that people recommend to him. And that's kind of, that's kind of cool, but it's not really what his channel originally had. Normally, the playthrough he, he did recently, which was Corpse Party Book of Shadows, I didn't watch that much of it. Uh, just because it was in, like, it was in these big, big, you know, it was in these big divisions. Like, he would, he would do it for, like, he would upload, like, a two-hour video, and I just don't have the patience to come back and scroll to whatever point I was in. So that doesn't work that well for me. But... Mostly what he does, other than that, is he, he just does little free games on the internet. And that's kind of cool for a video every once in a while, but I feel as if it's not really as fun, you know, just in general all the time. Like, if you did that, like, as a once a week thing, maybe, if you did it as once every two weeks, that'd be a little better. Um, but I, I just, I feel like doing it a lot is, like... It's not really what I would enjoy that much, personally. I don't know. It's not really what I would want to watch. And some people enjoy it. But back to the whole um, commenting thing. Like, PewDiePie... Um, oh my gosh. I almost commented on the game again. PewDiePie does... Uh, he, he disabled his comments. And I feel like one of the reasons... You know, um, not one of the reasons, but he always has people's well he didn't necessarily disable them he just picks out like a few that he likes and lets them stay there and then makes all the others gone but he only puts like comments that he kind of agrees with on there i feel like now not necessarily all the time some of them can be like not nice but there'll be a nicer way of saying that they didn't really like it as much or something like that and you know, it, it's good for him to respect that, but it's also, I don't know, it, it feels a little, you know, unprofessional not to be able to deal with people saying, you know, whatever they're going to say and just highlighting the ones that are like nice, friendly comments, you know, if so, and not putting the ones that are kind of, you know, critical of whatever he's doing on there. So, you know, you'll have ones on his videos that are like oh i really like what you're doing but i know other people are really kind of tired 
of what he's doing. And that's another thing. Like, I don't think maybe he sees it quite as much. Um, sees what I'm going to be saying. Or maybe he's just cho choosing to ignore it. But I feel like, to another sense, you should also try and do what your viewers like as well as doing what you like. And if you can find a middle ground, that's a, that's a really good way to go. And if you like what your viewers like, that's perfect. Because I feel like I'm in that right now, a little bit. Maybe you guys don't like it. I don't know. I'm still kind of doing what I want. But if you guys do want to see other stuff from me, then let me know. But yeah, I just... That's not really my thing. I also... I'm not a huge fan of people who just do kind of one thing. Like, on Minecraft especially. Um, there are some people who do a lot of survival games. I totally respect people who do that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on anybody who does that. But it, it's just not for me. I don't really like people... I, not, not I don't like people. I don't like watching people who do a lot of one thing, especially survival games, because it can just get really old. And then there will be people who are like, I'm tired of Minecraft, I'm taking a break. And normally, that's just because they're tired of like one thing in Minecraft, like survival games. And uh, I, I feel like a lot of channels that just do survival games as well end up stopping faster, stopping doing what they're doing. Uh, they end up stopping playing the game just because they're tired of survival games and it takes them away from their channel and a lot of times people who do just one thing don't grow as big because they'll reach a certain amount of audience and then nobody will want to watch it again or people will start unsubbing because they get tired of what they do or even the person themselves will get tired of what they do and then boom you know the, the channel is gone so those tend to not last very long Channels that are bigger, you, you probably notice, don't do just one thing. They do a lot of it. Now, maybe they do one, just one thing, like just Minecraft. Now, that's less rare now. A lot less rare, actually. Um, especially because I think also, you know, people who do YouTube as a job have probably had it recommended to them that they do other games as well. Just because, again, at some point, Minecraft has to die out. Not hating on anybody who does just Minecraft. I love a lot of people who do just Minecraft. But yeah, that's just my opinion. You don't see as many people who are, who are as big doing that. And now, in some ways, that's not necessarily bad because if you get large enough and then you switch, a lot of people will stick around just because you're a popular YouTuber now. But otherwise, mm, not so much. So you might kind of, your channel might fail around, you know, 50,000 subs if you get up to it. You know, because you're not really a hugely well-known person, but you are popular kind of for what you do among that many people. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Those are some of my opinions. I think I may have got off track and left the subject behind or something that I didn't talk about, and I could talk about more. But I've been rambling on for a long time. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and this commentary. Um, I probably won't do as many this long. I just got really into it, and I really enjoy this. Actually, I might, I might do some more this long, but you guys would have to tell me what you think. It might be better if I have shorter videos, just because I feel like people will stick around longer for that. But if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to uh, leave a like down below. Um, if you did like the video, if you didn't like the video, let me know. Um, don't dislike it, please. That's kind of mean. That's like, I hate it. I always feel it that way. A lot of times I count who, like, really, who really watch the video by who likes it as well. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace, guys, and stay reptilian.